guys. So here is everything that I got at Publix. Not a super large haul, but definitely stuff I needed for the week. So I got some zucchini because I'm going to be making a zucchini Parmesan. This is from that cookbook, the um, something basic, Southern Keto cookbook. You guys know what I'm talking about by now, right? So I got some of that I needed for that. And then I got a orange pepper for our bearded dragon. The produce section was very empty. In fact, I'm gonna insert a clip and show you. Look at the empty shelves. This was the freezer section, but the um, some of the produce looked exactly like this too. And I'm guessing maybe, at first I freaked out, but then Andy and I were talking and we're like, probably trucks didn't make it down here because of the hurricane and stuff. So that's why they were out of everything. But I was like, whoa, it was a little, um, disconcerning I don't know but I was looking for tomatoes they didn't have any but on the end they had these Campari tomatoes buy one get one free and these are actually delicious tomatoes I really like them I remember having them in a taste um, sample or something at Costco once years ago I'm talking maybe 10 years ago and ever since then I was hooked there was just something about them they're delicious um, I wanted to get some salad stuff I was looking for like the package of three heads of romaine lettuce and they didn't have anything barely these happen to be on sale three for ten so I got a bunch of different ones or three different kinds and I'm just gonna mix them all together but this one is the arugula spring mix and then i think i got baby spinach so if i just mix it all together i feel like that'll be good too um needed some more of the um pure lime and pure lemon juice um i do go through this pretty quickly but this is the santa cruz it's organic 100 percent lime juice you can see the ingredients it is really good and it's just the realest thing besides juicing it yourselves. And there have been times, there's some meal preps out there where I have juiced my own lemons and limes for the week. And I love doing that actually, I have a juicer, but I just haven't been feeling like doing that lately. Um, I did get some of the Chosen fo Foods avocado oil spray. Um, just a funny story, like Jordan made herself an egg sandwich the other day and she was making the egg in there and she didn't have any of the spray and she didn't wanna put butter down. She didn't want the added fat. She wants the added fat to be from sweets. <laughs> She's not keto. <laughs> so that I got and made sure that we had some of that. I did get a case of water. This was actually from Aldi's though, but I, I couldn't fit it on the other counter. The other side is going to have my Aldi haul. Um, I needed a bunch of spices. I was out of some of these. Um, I'm going to be making um, two seasonings. I'm going to make ranch seasoning from that cookbook and a blackened seasoning from that cookbook. And I know the ranch one is delicious. I make ranch dressing from it. It's actually one of my favorites. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably, you know, show you basically how it's done. Um, got Jordan some more of these pastas. She really likes these and they were buy one, get one free. And they were on the Ibotta app. So sometimes they'll give you the double, even though it's buy one, get one free because there's two on your receipt. So that's kind of cool. Um, and for the, um, zucchini parmesan that I'm going to be making. Um, I'm going to do half of it with pork rinds for myself and then the other half for Jordan since she doesn't do meat and pork. Pork rinds is from pork, which is meat. I got her some panko seasoned breadcrumbs. So I'll probably have to do it in two different things though because she doesn't even want her food touching other food that has meat in it. Um, so I've also needed um, some replacement brown sugar. So I got the swerve and I needed some semi-sweet, no sugar um, baking chips, chocolate chips. So I got those. I am gonna be making a dessert, a snacky dessert. We'll see, I hope it's good, I don't know. And here's what I'm gonna be making with it. <laughs> this is also from that cookbook. This is the start of the Aldi's haul. Um, I'm gonna be making some Muddy Buddies. Ugh, I don't know, I, I, which I called it Puppy Chow. Let me know down below. What did you call it when you made it? It was like the Chex Mix cereal with the peanut butter and the sugar and the chocolate and you shake it all up in a bag. Um, we called it Puppy Chow, but in her cookbook, she called it Muddy Buddies. So that's why I said that, but I'm going to try it. I'm not a big fan of pork rinds, but if you cover up the pork rind taste with sugar and peanut butter and chocolate, it might be okay. Um, I like to snack sometimes on string cheese. So I got this over at Aldi's. It was like $2.79 for this one. I thought it was a pretty decent deal. Got some more half and half and heavy whipping cream. 
Got Andy another chuck roast. He is loving these. I mean, you see it. It's in my haul every week. Bacon at Aldi's, at my Aldi's anyway, was $3.99 for a pound pack. I think that's really good, $4. So I got four packs because, you know, we like to snack on it and have it wrapped around all kinds of meat, chicken, steak, hamburger, um, even shrimp we've done, which I tried to get shrimp today, but nobody had the shrimp I wanted. Also got um, some more chicken wings for Andy. He really likes these. This bag probably makes about two servings for him. Also got some wild caught pink salmon because I'm making that blackened seasoning. I'm gonna make a blackened seasoned salmon with, and I'm gonna be having that over my salads for the week. That is gonna be my lunches for the week. So I'm gonna do a kind of meal prep um, just getting that stuff ready, which it'll be quick and easy because it's salad, right? Just making this, the seasoning, baking the um, salmon, and then you kind of get your veggies ready to go. Um, and then I also got some more ground beef for Andy as well. So that is everything we got in the grocery haul, guys. Let me know what you thought. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like it, hit the like it, hit the like it button. <laughs> um, hit the bell to make sure you're getting notified whenever we get um, a new video uploaded and out there for you guys to see, and we will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.